I should not lie. <laughs> right. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do uh, a reading corner tour with most of them, well, my cards and the books. I don't have a, I don't have like 500. This is, um, I really need to get pocket. And it's raining out, so it's like kind of crappy. So here, I'm here today to do a tour of my reading corner. And uh, I'm all over the place. And I think I'm going to add my owl crate. Oopsie. My owl crate um, unboxing to this. And then do my TV web for May and then my April reads together in another one. Um, maybe I'll just do my owl crate in the other one. Thinking on today, Monday, kind of late. Should have done this vlog yesterday, but today I'm going to do my. Um, reading corner with showing you uh updated well not an updated because I have more books coming uh, and I need a bigger bush bookshelf because my Noah Wobble collection is on is in a bag right now on the floor and my self help books are over there with my sorry about the light self help books. There's my doggy there is this and then on the bed there's my behind them <laughs> there's my October no not October April reads right there and then my to be read for May my doggy again so this is my chair I got from the resale, the resale place. I love it. It's purple. But it's comfy. I got this mat from the Canadian Tire. I bought it from my mom who got the wrong one. So here is my Noah Wabba collection in the book, in the bag. I want to get them out of the bag. It's all my collection of Noah Wabba books. Here's my collection of mugs. I used to collect them like 90 from Winners. Yeah, this one came from Winners. Winners with a J for my name. Winners. Winners. I got this from my job from someone at my job. Or well, my ex job. Hey! That's my job. Canada's running around. I'm missing. Oh, and this one is from Niagara Falls when we went there on a family trip. A lot of these are actually from. That's from Tim Hortons. This one is from Steep Tea. It's a place in Canada that sells Steep Tea. I don't. I don't, um. I don't go through them anymore. Allergy season. This is from Can um, Canada's Run the Land. Canada's Run the Land. Those are from. Uh, these are from. This is from Winners. And I think this is not my cup. I think it belongs to one of my sisters. And then here is my Cinderella cup from Winners. I love Cinderella was my favorite um, favorite movie when I was a kid. Still is to a point. So is uh there's another one cat lover that I think that was for my sister up north. So anyways, here is my I don't have them in any order. So here is my Nicholas Sparks. My favorite Nicholas Sparks one is the choice. The movie was really good. 
It's totally different than the book, but usually that's the case. These two books are Canadians. The Missing is from an author in, in, in Winnipeg. This one is about the Oak Island off of the coast of Nova Scotia. Well, I actually think it's on Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. <laughs> and then there's Watching You. I haven't read these books. I think I've actually read this one, but I'm not too sure. I'm just going to reread it. The Woman in the Window. I have a... And the couple next door. The Girl on the Train. Behind Closed Doors. In a Dark Wood. This one actually has coffee on it. But it's still good to read. I started reading this one, but... Oh, the Educator. Educated. Started reading that one, but then I stopped because I wanted to read something else. I cannot. Well, I think it's actually this one. Stepping out of fear. That's something going on. Stepping out of fear. I read that one. Really good book. I recommend it. Then I got Eat, Pray, Love. I haven't read this. I read this one. Eat, Pray, Love made me do it. I think I can fit another book in here. Sunday Potluck, I read that one. This one should be in my uh, self-help books, but it's over here right now. You Are a Badass, then that one. I haven't read these ones. Those ones are gifts from a uh, friend of my mom's co-worker. The Sisters of the Traveling Pants. I only have one of those. Gossip Girls and... I got this down and then get this video up. So I want to do the other two videos too. Allocate Quake Game. It is challenge that follow fellow fiction lover friends with Calgary's that were designed just for bookworms. I have no one in this house to play with, so that'll be staying in the package. I got an Alcrate pen. Got two now. And mine just went through, so I'll be getting the special gift. Today, this time around. So this one is for your phone to keep your cards in with a yeah. history has its eyes on you. Like I don't know if I'm gonna put that on my phone. I really don't know. And then also so do these cards. I, so I'm definitely getting this box. I don't know why. I was going to actually just up here in Canada. It is actually I think I paid fifty six dollars for this book box. Actually, I don't know. I don't have my phone on me. Trying to stay off my phone for a little bit. And then this the spoil warnings. I don't know. I really take that puffer. I'm getting really agitated. I'll be back. This is my Valen. 
Maxi on the blow event. No, sorry. Zen Hell is a two and one. Okay. I probably won't use it. I'll probably well have to get a pillow for it. So I can kill it. Oh yeah, okay, you have it now. Oh, I can put this on my chair. It reads Conquer your fear and you can conquer the world. Oh my goodness. This makes more sense. Yeah. Yes, I can get a small pillow for it. I'm just gonna get one from Urban Outfillers. Or I might just get one when the store be open. I'm not on Terrier, so I want him. Well, I was, I'm, yeah. I really don't want to leave the house anyways. I'm one of those people that just don't... Well, I listen to the news, but I don't... Anyways. I'm going to drop that because that's something I want on my walk. Anyways, so I got chopsticks. I don't use chopsticks because I don't know how to use them, but I'll keep them just in case. One says the scallop chain gang. The scallop chain gang. I'm going to sound bad, but it's the white. And the white flowers. I'm gonna put these away. And then finally, <coughs> finally, the book. Witches Step in Gold. And on the back it has the letter from the author. This video, uh, I'll pause this again afterwards before I start my other videos. Okay, so this says, I think we all agree that witches rule. This I knew as a child, as a kid, hearing cut my teeth on to bring the teenage weights. I actually used to watch that when I was a kid too, when it was still on. Mind you, I really stop saying that because I think I was a teenager. I'm actually, I think, uh, Melissa Jonah Hart is actually in her early 40s, so I'm not that far behind her. So, I remember selling the cat, and he, I love black cats. I don't have one, mind you, but I want to get one when I move out. Um, everything changed, however, during a family trip to, Ma to Jamaica, I want to go to Jamaica, when I learned about Annie Palmer, the white witch of Rose Hall. I should look that up. Allegedly to have killed all three of her husbands with a dark taboo branch of magic. Okay. So here's this. Oh. And then, well, my weeds is, I already have my April weeds, no, my May weeds. So, let's see how I thought this was supposed to come. Anyways, I'll read these. Sian Smart, I hope that's how you pronounce her name, was born in a small town in the south of England and can typically be found painting abstract 
canvases, playing netball, or teaching herself new school on the on the piano. A lover of fantasy, Jane, and polit polit political particular her first novel is Witches Step in Gold. You can learn more about her at her website. And then it says My Aunt Randa has spent her life in a cell, heir to an overthrown Hey Jenna. What? I got a cat for you. Um put her in. Where's your mom? What? Where's your mom? Uh, she's in the room. What? Okay, no, no. She's, no, she's in uh, the garage making a workout video. Okay. So I'm going to introduce you to my mom's cat. I like to claim her as mine. There she is. And then I'll get back to the book. <coughs> hey, hey, come here, Winter. So this is Winter. You'll see her on my Instagram, my book, my book. Instagram, Jenna's Bookland. I'll have that. Hopefully, she can get it on the screen. Yeah, it'll be on the screen, and then I'll have the website in the description box. So, anyways, I'll get back to that. What the heck? She's been outside. I wonder if she's been outside. Anyways, so I'll get back to the synopsis. Oh, I said it has spent her life in a cell, heir to an overthrown and magically gifted dynasty. She was exiled from her home on the island nation of crap, once just a child, in Crick. But every day brings her closer to freedom and vengeance. Jasmine Chariot grew up dressed in gold with stone, stolen magic at her fingertips, daughter of the self-crowned. Uh, existence is a threat to her mother's rule, but unlike her sister before her, she has no intentions of dying, no strength in her mother's power. Sworn enemies, the two witches, enter a deadly alliance to take down the woman who threatens both the worlds. But revenge is a bloody pursuit, and nothing is certain except the length will go to win this game. So here's the book. And, oh, it fits right there. Oh. Anyways, I got a on two more videos and uh, so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to subscribe hit the subscribe button and if you want a notification so I upload a video just hit the notification bell I'll be back with more videos hopefully I don't hit a, a slump again <laughs>